necessary for us to relook at our foundations, to go back in search of our foundations. Our foundations, no matter how, how dramatic our progress, economic, scientific, military, may be, the foundation requires to be strengthened. And this is something on which she was very strong and very deeply committed. I can say this from my own experience. I used to sit in on a number of meetings chaired by Ms. Gandhi. And the longest meetings were those that concerned the environment or culture. They went on for very long. She never interrupted anybody who was speaking. Kapila Ji would also be able to bear me out of this. And then of course she'd listen very carefully and contribute in the end. But always listen. And those meetings went on very long. The other meetings were more business type. Didn't last all that long. Half an hour, 45 minutes. But these went on for an hour, two, three hours. Because she loved to spend time thinking of these things. This period brought us initially Project Tiger, 1973. Project Tiger has been something of which all of us are very proud. We now have, we now have in 19, 2007, there were more than 40 Project Tiger wildlife reserves covering an area of 37,761 kilometers. And it, it, it helped to increase the population. The population of tigers, which had been at the beginning of the century, estimated in about 40,000, had come down to a little over 1,200. That went up over a period of time to 3,500. Unfortunately, today, today, it is again under threat. And now, of course, Apparently, the figure has fallen to about 1,411. We are now, of course, rethinking the whole project. Part of the reason why this reduction is taking place is also because the method of counting has become much more scientific. It was not so clear in the earlier days. But the point is that this major project is under threat. And this major project needs to be protected. But not only this, she repeatedly in her speeches talked of the extinction of animal life and how that was in many ways diminishing India. She specifically spoke of the cheetah several times as to how in her childhood she had been brought up to regard that as a kind of symbol of India. And it was no longer there. There is no cheetah left in, in our country. It's extinct. So these were things of which she was very concerned. And as a result of that, you had the Forest, Forest Conservation Act, the Wildlife Protection Act. And during that time, in 1981, she had written a letter to the chief ministers of all the coastal areas, particularly identifying the fragile ecology of our coastline and what needed to be done in order to conserve it and restore it. And then we all know about the, her, her interest in the Silent Valley project in Kerala and how she succeeded in protecting that. And there are a number of other examples of how she actually succeeded in, projecting the environment, in protecting the environment. And as a direct result of this, initiated in her time, but culminated in her son's time, was the Environmental Protection Act. And I do know that in her son's time, in Mr. Rajiv Gandhi's time, we had a particularly assertive secretary in the Ministry of Environment and Forests, and this was uh, Mr. T. N. Seshan, who of course all of you know of, 